we're back. I got in two RX 66 XT power color AMDs, eight gigabyte. I put one right into this motherboard because it's quick and dirty and it's up and running within like 15 minutes, right? Got it installed. MSI afterburner set overclocked and it's running NB minor. Over here, I've got the second one. Problem is, this Asus motherboard down here will not recognize, it won't allocate this GPU and I'm having trouble with it. I don't know why I flashed the BIOS. I'm having just more issues with this dumb motherboard. Again, I'm used to the MSI X470 gaming, so I got this Intel based one and I don't know why it's not picking up the third one. It's seeing it, but it's not giving it resources. Okay, over here, we have it running. This is the one that's working. I am CPU mining right here on flock pool. The, uh, the other pools I tried were having issues, so I went back to flock pool. And here we are getting 32 mega hash on the RX 6600 XT. And here we are down here doing that. Here's MSI Afterburner with the settings I'm using. Zero for the power, core clock 1936, memory 2224, and I just put the fan at 85, it's outside the tent. So that's that for now. And there's CPU running, let's close this out. So that's where I'm at, I gotta wrestle now with I've got to wrestle now with this guy right here. This motherboard. I got to figure it out. Uh, okay, that's where I'm at. Two new, two new 6600 XTs. And I'm getting closer to my goal of one giga hash. I think I'm pretty close. I think I need one more decent card and I'm at one giga hash. It's taken me two months and lots of money and sweat, but we're getting there. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, oh, if you know about this Asus Prime motherboard and why this third thing over here, let me show you what it says. Go to device manager. Look at that. It sees it, but it's airing out. And if I proper it, there you go. This this damn this dumb error. I always see this now and then. This device cannot find enough free resources that it can use. It's a motherboard thing. It's a BIOS thing. I got to go through the settings and figure out what's going on. That's always the time cons consumption, and I hate that. That's why I try to stick with the same motherboard, that X470. And I actually found a refurbished one today. I think I made a video of it on Newegg, four ninety nine bucks, and I grabbed it. <laughs> I grabbed it. If anything, I might put it in there. Oh my God, I think I have an old Ryzen 3 to stick in there. I don't know, but I just hate wasting time on this stuff because I just want to get the stuff up and running. It's fun at first to figure it out, but once you're wasting time and hours go by, what's going on, what's wrong with this, and you're on a whole new motherboard, it just drives you nuts. I know how to fix it on the other motherboard. This one, yeah, we'll figure it out. I don't know. It just, it just hate waste, wasting time when I got so much other things to do. So that's where we're at. You guys have probably seen this stuff. I update, I did increase the virtual memory just to make sure uh, I have enough and that wasn't it. And I'm trying to figure out what else to do. The BIOS has been flashed. I gotta go through the BIOS settings and check all the uh, crypto stuff is turned on. It's not as sweet as an interface as the MSI interfaces. The Asus is not. It's more bare bones and not as intuitive to me. And that's what I'm having trouble with. All right, I'm out. Thanks for watching. I'm so excited we're getting close to one gigahash. I don't think we're there, but we're close.